news, we've got some newly announced cameos for the film. Late Night's James Corden will make an appearance as the Murphy's next door neighbor and I'm kidding! I'm kidding! Let's actually talk about the very first trailer for the upcoming Dear Evan Hansen film. If this is your first time seeing my face, hi! My name is Kat and I really like musicals. If you really like musicals, hit subscribe to join the musical theater internet cult. First we take over Broadway. And then Hollywood. Question of the day, what did you think about the Dear Evan Hansen trailer? Love it? Hate it? Somewhere in between? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you want more thoughts on casting or background on the Dear Evan Hansen film, we've actually covered it before, so I'll link those videos in the description box. But Dear Evan Hansen is of course a film adaptation of the 2017 Tony Award winning musical of the same name. The movie's gonna star Julianne Moore, Amy Adams, and of course Tony Award winner Ben Platt, who originated the role of Evan Hansen on Broadway. Very vague synopsis, but Dear Evan Hansen follows the story of Evan, a teenage boy who's always felt like an outsider. Following a tragedy, a misunderstanding occurs that finally allows Evan a chance to fit in, so long as he perpetuates the lie. It's a very emotionally heavy show, and it can be sensitive for some, so viewer discretion advised. The film will premiere September 24th, as in this September. The cast was only announced last August. I'm just shocked at how quick the turnaround for this film was, and during quarantine, no less. The very first trailer for the movie came out a couple of days ago, so let's discuss some of our overall thoughts. I like how real it is. It's very small acting, very intimate. I'm curious to see how the general public will react to a movie musical in this style. I'm a big fan of the contemporary drama musical, so I don't know. I don't know how non-musical theater fans are going to find it. If you didn't know, it's actually the same director who did Perks of Being a Wallflower, so you can definitely see that style working well. I'm really hoping there's not too much auto-tune. Remember that phase when every picture was photoshopped to death? Like you'd have Jennifer Lawrence on the cover of a magazine, but they'd smooth her over so much that they'd accidentally edit out her belly button? I feel like a lot of movie soundtracks are like the sonic equivalent to that. Like they've been smoothed over so much that y you miss what made it human. Does that make sense? I hope they don't do that. <laughs> oh my god, when that chorus to You Will Be Found came in, I just got hit with a wave of nostalgia. I adore Amy Adams. Yes, I'm one of those people. The real question is, do we think Amy Adams is finally going to get her Academy Award? I would love to see it happen, but I'm not counting on it. I don't want to get my hopes up. I know a lot of people have been saying that if anyone's going to get an Academy nod, it would be Julianne Moore for Heidi Hansen. Rachel Bay Jones, who originated the role on Broadway, won the Tony Award for it too. Coincidentally, I watched Booksmart for the first time earlier this week, and not only did I love the movie, I loved Caitlin. She's amazing. She's playing Zoe in the movie. I absolutely get the hype. I am an instant fan and I'm really excited to see her in it. I'm also just really excited because I've never seen Dear Evan Hansen. I really want to, I just haven't been able to. I know it and I've listened to the cast recording a couple of times, but I'm so excited to experience a movie musical like fresh. And I'm really curious to see if I'll like the movie more or less or what. Okay, so here are my thoughts on the whole Ben controversy, backlash, drama, whatever you want to call it. If you don't know, Ben Platt is 27 and he's playing a high schooler in the movie. And when the trailer came out, reactions were across the board, but ultimately a lot of memes clowning on him, making fun of him. Here's my take. I really like Ben and I think they did him kind of dirty because they did not set him up for success. According to this Vanity Fair article, apparently the goal of the movie was to immortalize Ben's performance as Evan, which I totally get. You know, it's been praised as one of the greatest musical theater performances ever. So if that was the goal of the movie, why not build out the rest of the cast around your star? If you want to create a cohesive looking ensemble, they need to be the same playable age. And I want to make a big differentiation here. I'm not saying that the actors need to be the same age. I'm saying that the cast needs to look the same age. Because high school aged can look very different on different people. Like look at the cast of Euphoria versus the cast of High School Musical on Disney+. Plus. Two very different looks, but they both work and they both have a wide range of actor ages. Oh, or the politician. I would have done something like that. I also wish people were being a little kinder with their word choice. There can be a lot of pressure on actors to look a certain way or maintain a certain look and it 
kind of sucks that people are making fun of Ben for aging, being human. I think we should just chill with the expectations we put on actors' bodies. I'm, I'm done with it. But those are just a few of my thoughts. I want to hear from you. What did you think about the Dear Evan Hansen trailer? Let me know in the comments down below. If you're new here, hit subscribe. Join the musical theater internet cult. I hope you guys are having a great day. I love you so, so much. Break a leg and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. What if I manifest a cameo by James Corden? Just add it in post.